Oké, okay, hier Jonas van Open Ministry. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm, my name is Jonas Pekkan and I, I work at Forum Virum Helsinki and, and uh, uh, I also volunteer at the Open Ministry, which I help, helped uh, set up a few years ago. And what is the Open Ministry? Open Ministry is uh, it's a civil society organization that uh, uh, safeguards the new uh, democratic, democratic institution we have in, in Finland, which is that, that uh, citizens can now put law proposals into parliament if they have 50,000 supporters. So, so we, we uh, safeguard that institution, try to develop it and at the same time help uh, these individual uh, campaigns to, to uh, uh, develop good quality law proposals. Yeah. and campaigns to go with them. And, and, and uh, how does the process of a campaign look like? L uh, like w uh, when, uh, uh, when I'm a, a citizen and, and I want to, to offer a proposal, uh, uh, w what does the process look like? Uh, what we try to emphasize to people who want to use the citizens' initiative as, as a way to affect policy change is that you need to typically have uh, a lot or enough people involved in, in planning both uh, the initiative itself and especially the campaign. Mm -hmm. Because reaching 50,000 uh, people is not not uh, uh, trivial. There's, there's only six, uh, uh, now seven actually, that have reached the 50,000 uh, threshold. Uh, but it always requires a lot of a uh, lot of work. And 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 do you need a like a Facebook like or a vote or, or at what way do you get people around you? Well, the, what makes the Finnish uh, Citizens Initiative uh, interesting internationally is. Not only that it's enshrined uh, in the constitution, but that it also allows online uh, participation, online uh, signing, supporting of the initiatives. So you do, with a strong electronic uh, uh, identification, but in practice with your bank uh, ID or mobile phone, you can you can yeah. support the initiatives. So, so and then that can happen in one day, uh, like we proved with the with the uh, initiative for, for allowing same-sex marriages in Finland. We got more than 100,000 supporters in, in the 24, first 24 hours. Okay, that's uh, impressive. And in the end, uh, you said uh, there were six or seven uh, 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 projects uh, uh, they, 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 they succeeded and they arrived in the parliament. And what happened then? Well, there's, there's six now that have been given to this uh, sitting current parliament and, and the seventh one now now uh, reached the, the uh, threshold, but it will be given to the next parliament because the, the elections are, are quite soon. <laughs> um, so out of the six uh, that, uh, that have been given to this parliament, two have so far been completely re uh, like processed and rejected. And now the, the four remaining ones, uh, uh, we, we try to campaign to get at least some uh, of them through. So, so there's the next one to be processed uh, is, uh, to the end is the, is, is the one for, for uh, copyright changes, uh, cr crowdsourced copyright uh, initiative which contains about a dozen different suggestions. So now we're trying to make sure that at least uh, one or two of those suggestions would go through because the, the committee is suggesting to, to, to reject the whole proposal as such. Okay, and, 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 and now, uh, 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 because uh, what is the response of the, of the, of the political parties uh, at, at, at the new initiative? Uh, do they embrace it or do they fear? Well, I think uh, to many, many, to, to a large extent, uh, many of the MPs were a bit surprised uh, when the when the citizens' initiative possibility uh, uh, came. Uh, although, of course, they had passed <laughs> passed the citizens' initiative law and the and the, the constitutional changes, but they hadn't maybe thought about the consequences. But but uh, once we started. Uh, then coming th out with these campaigns for the for the uh, citizens' initiatives, then there was uh, quite a lot of, of pushback from from uh, especially the conservative MPs who, who maybe don't try to or don't want to don't appreciate giving uh, releasing some of the power that th that they have as MPs back to the In people. democracy. <laughs> and uh, what do you think has to happen to make this new way of crowdsourcing sustainable in the future. So, 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 so what has to happen, what has to change to make it successful in the, in the future? Well, the, the now there's a big discussion on how to change, how to improve the system, because it can't be so that all these initiatives after one, by, uh, one after another are just uh, rejected. So there has to be, first of all, some kind of, uh, of uh, recourse, maybe so that uh, the, you could have uh, uh, a referendum on the issue if the government, if the if the parliament turns down a suggestion, um, 
to find out what the people actually actually want, uh, not not so that the parliament could just uh, reject everything. Um, and and uh, then also the, 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 there's talk uh, or suggestions that that um, the uh, the citizens' initiatives shouldn't lapse when the parliament changes because uh, the the citizens stay the same. So so the the, the uh, initiative uh, sh sh could not be kind of uh, uh, run out of time if the parliament is not fast enough in processing it. Um, and there's plenty of other changes that could be done to make sure that 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 uh, uh, for example in 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 the way in the transparent way that they are, or the, currently the non-transparent way that they're processed uh, in the committees, uh, the hearings are not public except one, one hearing in the in the in the beginning where the where the campaigners are heard, but otherwise the committees are are held um, behind closed doors and and the even the expert uh, statements are not published until until it's already dealt with. And when you look at uh, because now uh, people they can suggest. Uh, 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 subjects and and, and and that people can vote. Uh, is there always uh, is there also a, a a second phase where you really uh, start collaborating? Uh, so because I think it's it's really easy to say uh, I like or or dislike. Uh, uh, is there also a, a second phase, or maybe it is already right now, where you can uh, uh, really collaborate with your fifty thousand uh, 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 crowd people uh, in 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 making better su uh, 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 suggestions, also also steps to make it happen. Well, it's possible to make initiatives where you don't have a very uh, uh, exact formulation, uh, not not uh, exact clauses of the laws. You can make a more general um, suggestion to the to the parliament, and then have the discussion of what the what the practicalities are if that uh, rough idea first passes through parliament. But uh, then there's even more risk that it will end up uh, delayed and, and buried somewhere. So if you make it as a law proposal, uh, in theory at least, it, if it's uh, or, or in practice, if it's accepted by the parliament, it, it would be signed into law uh, right away. So it's a much more direct route, uh, and but that emphasizes then the need to really work uh, beforehand, before you start collecting the 50,000 supporters on, on, on making uh, sure that the initiative is a very good quality, um, uh, or at least good enough quality to be to be yeah. with small changes then signed into law, and that that's where Open Ministry wants to help uh, to, to because regular people don't have uh, the the know-how to to write uh, like uh, full-fledged law proposals. So mm -hmm. we we bring in volunteer lawyers after the kind of crowdsourcing phase is to to help formulate it. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thanks.